good uh, good morning YouTube so today being let me get this right Sunday and I fly on Wednesday but we leave here we leave Sally's place Tuesday morning early to get a bus um, so we're gonna go on the, the motorbike and sidecar the tricycle our own one which makes it so much easier we don't have to wait i don't have to squeeze into one it's just so much easier but basically we're taking that all the way to town to serrano um when i'm not in the country i'm leaving that with sally's brother and his son who's very welcome to use it um i know it'll be i know it'll be taken care of in good hands um with, with that family so that's that's the idea it means basically i don't have to squeeze into somebody else's tricycle um, or on the back of a motorbike which I don't fit on or all sorts of things so I can just get on my own with the suitcase and Sally and just ride to town. Then it's a case of um, waiting for the bus. Apparently they started about half past seven in the morning. I was hoping earlier because that basically means when we get this right eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we say we get one for eight o'clock with like this. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 15, 15, 15, 15. Ah, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, if we're really lucky. 5 o'clock in the afternoon, we should be. Um, then then um, the bus, for, for whatever reason, doesn't go to where we need it to go. So we always have to go to their bus depot and then get on a taxi, get in a taxi. It's a proper car taxi, not a motorcycle. Not a taxi, and they are take us at an extortionate price then to the hotel. We'll be then there to spend the evening in the hotel together. We'll go and have a nice meal, say our goodbyes and whatever. And um, the next morning, um, there's an option of a taxi from the hotel, which is not too expensive. Um, or there is um, an airport shuttle that leaves right from more or less the front door of the hotel as well. So that's a weird one because where our hotel is, the one we, we like to use, it's not the best hotel in the world, but it's convenient. Because when we when I come into the country, we get a taxi to that. Sally's already been there, put all the stuff in there, so and I come, whatever. And outside is the bus terminal for the for the main bus company that we use. It's just a funny one that from Solano they don't drive straight to it, but they drive straight from it and pass and pass here. But that's a that's a weird one. Anyway, so tomorrow um, I'm hoping to go on one more bike tour, not a huge distance. I uh, went there last year, might do it again tomorrow, don't know if Sally's coming or not, depends if she's got the time. Place so called the Sea of Clouds, went there last year, and now I'm going to go back down to Arrytow and then back home again. There's a restaurant I was trying to find that we used last year when we went um, to Arrytow for, um, for a different reason. Um, I can't remember what it was, maybe we went there for something. Um, Sally's got family there, brother and sister. Um, obviously not the same house, but rather than one party system and another not far apart from each other, so we might visit them if Sally comes with me. Otherwise, it would just be me on my, on my own, trying to find that hotel, oh, that hotel, find that restaurant, nice meal, which I filmed last year again, so I thought we'll, of course we'll be doing all that again this time. Um, just as the last journey out, really. Um, I'll take the bike out this afternoon, probably won't get to film anything, it's just too hot at the moment. I used the bike, as you saw yesterday, just to chill, but that was a really funny one where I, I got through um, a place called Lomorano up the road there. I don't normally go that way. Um, got into it about probably six, seven miles from here. Um, you go through it, and before you go on up to where the um, Australian gold mine is, you turn left and you go over a bridge and into the mountains. And before I got that bridge, like I told you yesterday, there was um, army um, blockade there. Letting people through with you know, a checkpoint, if you like. So, like I said, I was worried because I hadn't got my driving license with me. I hadn't got my wallet with me, but I had, like I said, you know, paper, paperwork for the bike, the documents for the bike. I always keep in the top box that bike, the best way to do it. They're only photocopies, so they get stolen and stolen somewhere, but they wouldn't. Um, so, yeah, so that, that happened, and then of course I went up past there. As I filmed yesterday, and showed you, and I could decide. Should I wait now because there's other people not wanting to go through there because they need problems with their bikes and not registered and blah 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 check or whatever. I just, in the end, I just risked it. I came back through, no trouble. They waved me through again. I just put my hand up as I was going by. Um, and uh, friends enough and everything, so that was fine. And um, off I came back home, slight detour after, just for a ride round. So I was out for about 
an hour, hour and a half yesterday as well, just riding the bike. I'll do that again this afternoon. I might film it, I might not, but it's 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 all boring for you now because it's stuff you've seen time and time again. It probably won't bother, we'll see. Um, so I might this time try and do more filming of the journey to Manila and the hotel and then oh, it's always a bit hit and miss because uh, it's so stressful the whole the whole period really of trying to get to Heathrow and I'm being picked up by family in Heathrow which is good so off down towards Portsmouth for the night and the next day um, I think I'm being taken home which is another long drive in the car again so it's basically Tomorrow we're just going out on the bike. Uh, Tuesday morning early off we go and that's roughly, once we're on the bus you're talking nine, maybe ten hours. Um, that's the journey to just to Manila and then we've got about another, normally what takes about another, going to the city if we can find a taxi. Um, they charge the earth for it. So yeah, um, and that's to the hotel. Um, like I say, I've night in a hotel then. So it's ten hours there. So I'm saying 12 hours before I'm actually in the hotel on Tuesday. So 7 o'clock in the morning, so 10 hours, 11 hours, whatever. Get to the hotel the next morning, like I say, taxi to the airport. I Then I fly, I can't remember exactly, but I'm getting towards quarter to six in the morning. So it's going to be an early start. My flight leaves Manila for um, China. Um, I will be in China for three and a half hours, I think it is. And uh, then it's on to, yeah, to Heathrow from there, which is another 10 and a half hours. So it's three and a half hours, no, four and a half hours to China. It's um, then another, it's three and a half hour stopover, then another 10, 10 and a half, say 11 hours to then to, to Heathrow. Then there's about a two hour drive one and a half hours, two hour drive of maybe, I'm not quite sure, to Portsmouth. Um, and then in the morning, it'll be another four hour drive up to um, Harryford, where I've bought a tent. So I'll be filming all that. I've bought myself a new tent. Not exactly top of the range, not exactly expensive. Over a hundred pounds, which is a lot for me. As you know, it's not even earning money at this time of the year. So every penny counts, I've done that. Um, so yeah, so I've bought that tent. I can't remember what I paid for now. 110, 115, something like that. I can't remember. I can let you know at a later date. Um, so that's all. I know that's already been delivered to the campsite. Um, so that's fine. The people at the campsite don't mind me having stuff delivered there. So that's great. That's a big help. So that's happened. Um, so they've let me know. They've messaged me already on WhatsApp that um, I've got my tent already delivered. So great stuff. Main problem is will the car start? As always, I keep on about. So when I get to the campsite, so that'll be f actually won't be until the fourth. So I'll leave you on the second, fly on the third. Won't actually get to the camp campsite till the fourth, probably late afternoon. Hopefully it's not too dark. Hopefully it's not raining because I know they've had a lot, a lot of rain in the UK the last few days. So I'm hoping it's going to be dry. And then uh, put that up, and I'll be all settled and ready to start work. That's another thing I'm going to go through with you um, at a later date. The things are changing in that direction as well. Um, I'll talk about that when, once I'm there, once I'm settled, and then I'll do another bit of a chat. Anyway, that's it for now. So if I do go out on the bike, I will try and strap something to my helmet or something, um, or the body body cam, um, and then sort of uh, film a little bit. But I say it's not as interesting really because it's nothing you haven't seen. It's all really just trying to get a, some kind of setup on the helmet really with filming and that. But like I say, next year it's going to be all changed. I'm going to be spending some money because I'm not spending any money on bikes or big things next year so I can afford to spend money on, which I've said before, stuff for my bike. Uh, nice new tyre, like I said, and, and filming equipment. Uh, and I think a new lap, laptop is required. Or a good second hand one, whatever, but a, a laptop. I need a decent laptop. Um, so yeah, that's it. You'll be seeing all of this over the last few months I'll be in the UK probably from the 4th of April or 3rd of April till roughly mm, first or second week of December probably weather allowing because obviously I'm in a tent if I do upgrade to a caravan then I might be able to stop there a bit longer it's all about money I know I need to be back here I need to be traveling I need to be with my wife but it's all about money at the moment getting closer to retirement I need to start saving which I 
haven't got nothing. I basically have got nothing, so that needs to happen. Okay, so anyway, that's it for now. Nice talking to you as always. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye for now.